Hi, my name is David Gardner. I'm the uh, president and founder of Well Played Toys. We're introducing some brand new great pinball machines to the market this year. We have a great generic and Ghostbusters licensed machine. Each of these is a great replica of a classic pinball machine. Uh, virtual gameplay. They'll play over 27 different games that you can select from the menu and uh, go to town and play some great pinball maps. So what's the scale to a true pinball machine? It looks a little smaller. It is a little bit smaller, so it, but it's almost the same size. So it's, it's uh, you know, as far as the ratio, you know, there's no exact thing. But they're over, you know, they're over um, five feet tall. So, you know, they're pretty close to being a regular size, just a little bit smaller. You talked about your multiple maps and, and things uh, like, is this proprietary OS that you're running? And specific, is it like a pinball specific OS that people are familiar with or how does that work? You, it is and you will have the ability to go on with with your computer or a zip drive and download additional maps. It's more Android based so you'll be able to get any type of pinball activity and put it on there. Um, so it comes with 27 but you can, can you, you know, update it, put it online, get some new maps, do all that kind of stuff. So your, 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 your units are mod friendly? Basically, they are, absolutely. Saying. Absolutely. Yep. How much, or how much are one of the enclosures start at? Where do they start at? The big guys will go for about four forty nine for a licensed version, four twenty nine for a non licensed version, and then we have a smaller one that is really a tabletop design, which is basically the same thing for people that don't have all the space. Same exact gameplay, same specs. That'll be about a one ninety nine retail. That's an amazing. How do you get that, that price point? Because these pinball machines, even the digital ones, I've seen for thousands and thousands of dollars. Exactly right. Because there's no mechanical parts on the inside. The gameplay is all virtual. So there's no working motorized parts to break down or to supply and all that stuff. So that's really where a lot of that savings comes in. But you're right, to get an actual size pinball machine, you're looking at $4,000, $6,000 even on eBay. And um, are these out now? Where can, where can people purchase these? We're people? showing them for the first time here. So these will be geared to be out for Christmas time of this year. So they'll start to be in stores probably around August. So these are our interactive coffee tables that we're doing, and basically what these are are wonderfully detailed, uh, high-speed interactive uh, tablets that you can also hook your gaming systems up to and use them as a gaming table as well. Coffee tables so you can put your drinks on them, no, no worries. So it's great when you have like no space for the huge TV. Absolutely. If you have no space for the huge TV or if someone else is watching your huge TV and you still want to play your games, you can use this as your uh, interactive coffee table, put your game system on it, play Borderlands, play anything else you like, and uh, really have something fun going on. And you also mentioned it's not just, it's not a monitor, it's actually a tablet, so you can watch Netflix on it. You can, you can do whatever you do on a tablet on these things. You can access your email, you can watch television, you can surf the web, you can play games, you, you name it, you can do it. How much does a tablet that size cost? This table is going to retail for about $449. And that table back there, which is the same table, just a little bit smaller, will go for about $329. And that's just the table, though. Do you have, is that with the tablet? No. It, absolutely. It's with the tablet? The table and the tablet are all one. Okay, hold on. So you have, <laughs> how big is that tablet? That is a 27-inch tablet. So you have a 27-inch tablet. Yep, and, and it's touchscreen. And it's with a touchscreen tablet with yep. the table and all the inputs for $450? Correct. How are you making a profit off this? Well, I, I'm confused. Exactly. <laughs> Me I'm too. I should have checked into that first. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> That's incredible. How, Absolutely. How are you able to sell at that price point? It's amazing. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, it does a lot. So we wanted to have a something that was a clear value, something that was really great. Obviously, it doesn't come with the Xbox or your game system. Right, obviously. But you hook yeah. that up, but it comes with everything else. Well, so. why not? You're right. already losing Exactly money. right. And we might as well put one in there, too. <laughs> um, when do these come out? These are coming out for Christmas time of this year. All right, Jeff, so what happens if I'm if I have my I'm using it as a coffee table and I spill my coffee or my, my Diet Coke or whatever? It's designed to be a coffee table, so all you have to do is simply get a rag, wipe it clean, dry it up, and you're good to go. As long as you're not just taking a jug of water and pouring it over it and letting it Yeah, we, we don't minutes. we don't uh, we don't recommend that you do that <laughs> particularly. But other than that, if it's a regular coffee table, if you have a little spill, you have a little condensation ring, it's not a problem. You wipe it up and you go. What are the, what do they call it? Uh, water resistant, not waterproof. Exactly right. <laughs> you don't want to submerge it to 30 meters, but you can wipe stuff off of it, not a problem. Borderlands, we're making some great collectibles based on the fantastic franchise that is Borderlands. Borderlands 3 just came out at the end of last year, has done phenomenal. Uh, it's a game that continues to perform and do well. I'm a gamer, I love it myself. And uh, what we wanted to do was a line of collectibles, but 
instead of just focusing on the human characters and the alien characters that are within the game, we wanted to focus on what the true characters are, which is all the weapons that you're interacting with and playing with uh, every time that you get involved with the game. So what we're doing is scaled replica weapons directly from the game that come with a stand and a base that you can mount and put in your room, put on your desk, put wherever you want to display them. But rather than just being a stagnant collectible that doesn't do anything, when you get the larger versions of the collectible weapons, you'll be able to go back and buy accessory packs that you can take the scopes, the barrels, and the stocks off and get your loot, just like you do in the game, and upgrade these a number of different times to continually change the look. Now, are you able to, like, how did you um, mold these? Were you able to take the models from the game and just use we those? We worked or? directly with the game manufacturers, absolutely, and uh, did the models and uh, just put those into uh, you know, our, our engineering system and made they're, they're very detailed and exact replicas of what you play in the game. Are these out now or are they coming out for holiday? Coming out for holiday. Where can people more find information about all your products? Uh, you can go to our website, wellplayedtoys.com, and check them all out.